So how we are going to divide the document page? As I told you last time also, when we are working with the page style, and whenever you start the page style, in that page style, you are getting options of columns also and formatting also. Yes, Sakshi, do you want to ask anything better? Okay. So no, you may sir, have... that was by mistake. Okay, no issue, no issue. You may have some, uh, you may see in the documents, means sometimes you will look at the newspaper and magazine. So in that newspaper and magazine, you can find out the content is divided into two columns and three columns. Means it is written like this way. It is written like this way. So how we will do this? How we can change the columns? How we can make convert our page into three columns or two columns? For that purpose, we have to go on the format menu. In a format menu, divide the page into columns. You have to click on the format menu. In a format menu, you will get the column option. And whenever you click on the column, you will get a dialog box. That dialog box is, looks like this way. This is the column dialog box. This is the column dialog box. A column dialog box has shown in the figure like this. So enter the number of enter the number of columns in the column entry box and give the value for the spacing between means a space if you want to give a certain space between the two columns you can decide it here only and at last you have to click on the okay on selecting the number of columns up to three the formatted page will be looks like this is just like a this way so now i'm going to i'm going to show you here ki how we will do this so first i'm going to type the content i have to type the some content or oh, yeah, uh, or I'm going to use the new documents here. Uh, a little bit, why the new documents are here? Okay. So I'm going to open the new documents and in new documents, I want to create, uh, suppose I'm going to write the something here, inserting shape, inserting shape. And I'm going to cop, cut and paste from here. I'm going to cut and paste from here, wait. Wait, I'm copying the contents from here uh, like this. I'm changing the my safe mouse pointer in this way. And these things I'm going to copy and paste. I'm selecting this. I'm selecting this till here. And now I'm making the or uh, inserting shape also I'm selecting. And uh, I'm making the right click, copy, moving it here. And, uh, and, uh, and I'm making control V here. So look, I'm getting the text here. So what I do, this text is looks like the, this way. It's not coming in a proper way. I'm increasing the font size first. I'm increasing the size. I'm making it 18 size. Okay. All other becomes very bigger. And second thing, I'm going to adjust it in a proper way so that so that uh, insert image and this is inserting a special characters and uh, inserting this shape. Okay, and I'm putting the some space, some gap between that. So I'm able to get it in proper way. Okay, so documents are type. I'm going to adjust, make the formatting also. I make it justify alignment so that it's just modify. And I want to make it more than one page or two pages like this. Suppose I'm this size, 20 size is enough for this or 18 is good, 18 is good. I'm writing 18 here. So now, now I have a content here also, it's type here. Look at this, without typing, I get the, all the contents. Now I want to divide this page into the multiple columns. So what I will do, I have to click on the format and in a format, I have to search the column option. Is there any column options are you able to find? This is the columns, this is the columns. Through the page style also we can do, but come at here and look at this, this is the columns here. So now it's ask you how many columns you want. You can select the columns by this pictures also. Three columns I want, I can select it. The spacing is given 2.0, I'm going to increase. I'm going to increase, okay? So this, this I'll show you later. First, keep it 2.0. Is there any separator line? A style is, I'm saying uh, this time I'm putting it none. Nothing is doing, I'm just clicking on okay. And look at this. My whole contents are divided into three column contents. Look at this, your page are divided into three columns. You can see this and you can observe this. It's a divided into three columns. Okay, I'm going to again in the format options and again I'm selecting the column and this time I'm going to increase the space between this and I'm going to make it 3.5, 3.6, 0.36. You just, Observe the gap between these two characters, two space, this space. 
and I'm put clicking on okay. Look, the space is increased. The space is increased. I hope you all are getting it. Now I'm clicking on, I'm clicking after clicking on this. Again, I'm going on the format. Again, I'm selecting this column option. And inside the column, I am going, this is the auto width is there. I'm going to use the style. This is a separator line. I want to put a separator line inside this, but it is not showing here. And why the separator line is not showing in the column between, I have to check it. I have to check it. Okay, what is the problem with this? Because it's not showing the column line, height is good, position is good, 100% color black, 0.5 width. I'm giving the increase. Here it is showing. Here it is showing. You can feel this. Here it is showing. I'm putting this. It's a showing here also. But in the documents, it's not showing. And why not showing? I have to check it. Suppose I'm going on the file, I'm going on the print preview, print preview, and let's see. Yeah, here also it's not showing. Why not showing? Uh, what, what is the problem with this? I'm just closing the print preview better. And now I'm selecting these all columns together and moving on the format menu, selecting the columns. But by these options only, no, this is not, this is the selection, apply to selection. Oh, no, I don't want to select. This is the apply to page only. So, 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 why it's not showing, not showing, separate line is this, width and spacing is this, page style, default style is this, it is working, if I'm keeping it none, nothing is visible here in between, but whenever I select the line, it's going to show the line here, but why it's not showing, I don't know, might be there is a problem with this, but I'll search it. Okay, no problem. It's not showing the separator, doesn't matter. So now you understand how can convert your page into multiple columns, just like a newspaper, just like a newspaper or magazine. So now you understand? Yes, please. Is the in dots? So now dividing the page into the columns, that is the very clear. It's there is no very big rocket science is here simply you have to select the format and column and you will do this now the formatting shape or image means what is the meaning of the formatting shape or image user can format the shape or image in certain documents means what you can change the size you can change the color you can add the border you can change its position etc okay select the shape or image by clicking on and make the use of the toolbar means if you want to do anything else anything else here i'm going to press the control enter so what happened i'll move on the next line and here at this position if i want the up above page i want the single column and here i want page style default okay i'm going to make it one but it will not apply to here i have to put a section break then only it's for it more breaks insert manual pro break manual break and i'm going to break the column here okay so column break is done and now i'm going on the format and i want to make it single page it's still showing the one page if i'm doing the two page then what happened the whole Achha, in two page it's working look at this the boundary is showing here in two page it is showing the boundary in between separator but in three it's not showing maybe there is some technical issues no no problem is there okay so now i'm going to insert a shape here just suppose i'm inserting a shape here so what is the formatting means safe formatting means from here you can do the different types of the changes means you can change the uh, line style you can change the color of the border you can change the thickness that i already shown you you can change the fill color you want a gradient suppose i want to fill with the gradient you can choose the what gradient you want to fill okay this green gradient if you want to rotate you can select rotate for the rotation you can select it now you are getting this option you can rotate it so rotation is also possible here okay now select it and if you want to flip look at this points points are there we can we are going to change it so how we can change it look it's increasing the size again i'm moving this and i'm moving this points okay so now i'm clicking on this point so it's selected here and what i can do i can do the with the points with it's a decreasing but i want to do something else 
Can I do like this? Okay, I can increase only one point? No, it's not showing that option here. So points means you can select the points, you can highlight the points, and this you can rotate this. Okay. So this way you can do the image formatting also here. Now, creating and managing the tables. First, you have to understand what is the meaning of the tables and what types of the work you can do with the tables. With the tables, we are able to create a table. We are able to create the table with the rows and columns. We can delete the rows, we can delete the columns, we can merge the sale, we can split the sale. We can color the table, we can change the text directions of cell also. So what happens, sometimes we require to put the data, insert the data in the form of the tables. We want to give some data in the form of the table. So how we will do this? What is the way to inserting the table? If you want to insert the table here, so then, and now I'm selecting this page. I'm selecting this page, going on the format, and going on the columns and I'm applying the one column selection and applying the one column. Okay, I'm going to make it one, it is one only. So there is a something like this. I want something. It's nothing. Nothing is doing. Sure, no problem. So what we want to do, we want to we want to insert a table. So first I'm going to make the columns and make it one column space. So now it's become the one column page. And now I want to insert the table. So how we can insert the table? To insert a table, we have to. We have to, suppose this types of the tables you have to make. So how you will make? So this for this purpose, we have to go on the table menu and select the insert option. If you want to select the table, you have to go in the table menu and insert, click on the insert option. So now I'm moving on the table. This is the table tools and in this insert. Now you have to understand. What you have to understand, whenever you are creating the table, there are rows and columns. There are rows and columns. So I'm deciding the number of row columns are five and number of rows are four. Number of rows are four, number of five rows. Columns are five. You can decide the name of the table, my first table or time table. I'm writing here, this is my time table. You're not supposed to give the space in that. So I'm writing the time table here, okay? And you can select the styles from here. Okay, what types of styles you want to apply on your table? So any style you can select, I'm selecting default style. I'm selecting default style. So look, the tables are inserted here. And whenever you insert the table, you can feel that there are some toolbar is appearing and this toolbar is related to the table toolbar. This is called table toolbar. This is called table toolbar. So now you can see it and we can do the different types of the formatting on table also. So this way and now anybody can tell me, this is the row, uh, look at this. This is called row. This is called row. Mean if you want to calculate the row, you calculate the number of boxes available horizontally. Okay. This is the this both are the row. But if you are look at the column, this is the column one, this is the column two, this is the column three, this is the column three, this is the column four, this is the column five. Okay. So these are the columns. So how many columns are there? There are five columns, and how many rows are there? There are four rows so four rows and five columns are there okay now 